At 6.30, the owl returned to the house and crept up the stairs. This time, Laura had obviously sensed his presence or had anticipated that he would be visiting because when he entered the room and turned the flashlight on her, he could see that she was already trembling. Hello, Laura, he whispered. Are you glad I'm back? Her breathing was harsh and shallow. He watched as she tried to shrink back against the mattress. Laura, you must answer me. Here, let me loosen the tape. Better than that, I'll take it off. I brought you something to eat. Now are you glad I'm back? Yes, I'm glad, she whispered. Laura, you're stuttering. I'm surprised at you. You ridicule people who stutter. Show me how you ridicule them. No, never mind. I can't stay too long. I brought you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a glass of milk. You used to eat that every day in grammar school. Do you remember that? Yes. I'm glad you remember. It's important that we don't forget the past. Now I'll allow you to use the bathroom. Then you may eat your sandwich and drink the milk. With a quick gesture, he pulled her to a sitting position and cut the cords on her wrists. The movement was so fast that Laura swayed and reached out her hand. Inadvertently, she grasped the owl's arm. He gasped with pain and clenched his fist, ready to strike her. But then he stopped. You couldn't have known that my arm is very sore, so I must not hold it against you. But never touch that arm again. Understand? Laura nodded. Stand up. After you have visited the bathroom, I will permit you to sit in the chair and eat with tentative, unsteady steps. Laura obeyed. The nightlight in the bathroom made it possible for her to see the taps on the sink and turn them on. With a hurried gesture, she splashed water on her face and hands and smoothed back her hair. If I can only stay alive, she thought. They've got to be looking for me. Please, God, let them be looking for me. The handle of the bathroom door turned. Laura, it's time. Time? Was he going to kill her now? God, please. The door opened. The owl pointed to the chair beside the dresser. Silently, Laura shuffled over to it and sat down. Go ahead, he urged. Start to eat. He picked up the flashlight and directed the light on her neck so that he could watch her expression without blinding her. He was pleased to see that she was crying again. <laughs>